welcoming you to GTech Techno Solution Private Limited. Now we are going to discuss about laws of exponents. So the topics which we are going to deal with in this video are as follows. The first one is all about laws of exponents that is the definitions. Along with that we will be discussing about the examples of the laws of exponents. So if you see about this one laws of exponents have a definition. So, an exponent is a mathematical notation or notification that represents how many times a base is getting to be multiplied by itself. Other terms used to define exponents are power we can say or else we can mention it as index. So, index or power is considered to be the other terms in order to define exponents. An exponential term is a term that can be expressed as a base raised to an exponent. So a base and exponent is nothing but we have an example that is a to the power of n. Here a is the base this one and n is the exponent. So here if you see 2 is the base and n is the exponent. Let us consider if a and b are any real numbers and m and n are rational numbers then we have the laws as a to the power of m into a to the power of n equals to a m plus n. If multiplication is there then it gets to be added up in terms of power. The next one is all about a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n. If this is the case then it's getting to be subtracted. So if division is there it is going to be subtracted. So it's mentioned as a to the power of m minus n. In this we have a condition where m is greater than n. The next one is all about a to the power of m into n which is in terms of power. If this is the scenario then we will be having a to the power of m into n. The next one is all about a to the power of m into b to the power of m equals to a into b to its power m. Here this m, n, m minus n m plus n all these are exponents for the base a or b. So if you see this one let's say the term in terms of exponential form base a exponent of m divided by base b exponent of m equal to a divided by b as base with m as an exponent and base a of 0 the value is 1 base a to the exponent minus n equals to 1 divided by a base to the exponent n. So based on these laws of exponents, let's see some example problems. So the first law is all about a base exponent m a base n equal to a base m plus n. So instead of a we have 2. So 2 base 3 into 2 base 4 which can be defined as base 2 and in terms of exponent we can simply add 3 plus 4. So it's nothing but 2 base to the exponent of 7. So the answer is 128. 
So base 2 to the exponent of 7 is nothing but 2 multiplied by 7 that is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 that is 2 times of 7 it's 28 128 if you see the second law base a to the exponent m into n that is a base m into n instead of a we have 2 base 2 to the exponent of 3 outside the bracket we have 4 that is the value of n so we can simply multiply 3 into 4 that is 12 base 2 to the exponent of 12 which is nothing but 4096 and the next one is all about a b as base with an exponent of n that is nothing but base a n into base b n so we have 20 a into b the value is 20 to the exponent 3 that is nothing but 2 into 10 so a as 2 b as 10 we can mention base 2 to the exponent of 3 into base 10 in to the exponent of 3 which is nothing but 8 into that is base 2 to the exponent 3 is nothing but 8 which is 2 into 2 into 2 and multiplied by base 10 to the exponent of 3 that is 10 into 10 into 10 it's 1000 on multiplying 8 into 1000 it's 8000 and we have the next law where a divided by b to the exponent n that is nothing but a to the exponent of n divided by b to the exponent of n here for a and b we have 2 divided by 5 with the exponent of 3 so we can mention base 2 to the exponent 3 divided by base 5 to the exponent 3 that is nothing but 8 divided by 125 let's move on to the next exponent that is a with the exponent of n divided by a to the exponent of n which is nothing but base a m minus n let's see an example instead of a we have 2 to the exponent 5 divided by 2 to the exponent of 3 that is nothing but 2 as exponential term we can mention instead of m minus n as 5 minus 3 that is base 2 to the power of exponent 2 which is 4 and we have the final law that is a to the exponent of m divided by a to the exponent of m which is nothing but 1 divided by Considering base A, we have n minus m. We can see an example for this law. Two to the exponent three divided by two to the exponent five, which is equals to one divided by two to the exponent of five minus three. Five minus three is two. So one divided by base 2 to the exponent of 2 which is nothing but 1 divided by 4 hope you got a clear idea and clear picture of how these laws of exponents have been deployed by considering a and b as any real numbers and m and n as rational numbers now let's see some of the other examples we have the question x to the exponent 4 divided by x to the exponent 2 so we got to find the answer in general the solution will be since we have x we have 4 as power in general we will be mentioning x into x into x into x divided by x into x since it has 2 on cancelling we will be having x square instead of doing by this we can simply deploy in terms of the laws of exponents where we have the law base a to the exponent m divided by base a to the exponent n which can be simply 
equals to base a to the power of m minus n. By applying this logic, we will be getting an answer of x base of 4 minus 2 that is x square. So instead of solving in this normal manner, we can deploy in terms of exponential form. Let's move on to the next example where we have x to the power of 3 into 4. So we will be mentioning x into x into x that is 3 times of x as 4 times. So I have mentioned and on multiplying we will be getting an answer of x to the power of 12. In terms of exponential logic we have the law that is base a to the exponent of m into n equals to m into n. So we can simply multiply 3 into 4 and the answer is x as base with an exponent of 12. So instead of going with this logic we can directly deploy in terms of our exponential loss. Let's see another example where we have the question x to the power of 4 into x square. In general way we will be multiplying x into x into x which is multiplied by x square that is x into x. On multiplying we will be getting x, power, x to the power of 6. But in terms of exponential we have the law that is a base to the power of exponent m into a base to the exponent n that is equals to exponent will be m plus n. By applying this logic we will be getting x in terms of exponential we can mention 4 plus 2 that is x with an exponent of 6. Let's solve the next example. We have 7 as base and 10 as an exponent. So we have mentioned 7 times of 10. And we have 7 as base and exponent as 8. We have mentioned 7 as 8 times. The question is base 7 exponent as 10 divided by base 7 to the exponent as 8. On cancelling, we will be getting 7 into 7. Instead of that, we can simply mention by the exponential law that is a exponent m divided by a exponent n equal to base a m minus n. By applying the logic, we can mention 7 base 10 minus 8 that is 10 minus 8 equals to 2. So 7 as base with 2 as exponent. Here exponents are getting to be subtracted. Let's see another example where we have the question 2 base exponent 5 divided by 2 base exponent 5 which is equals to since the numerator and the denominator part are equal and same it's simply cancelled. So we'll be having an answer of 1. As per the law of exponent, we have base a to the power of 0 equal to here it is not considered as power, it's considered as exponent. So base a to the exponent 0 equals to 1. If we apply the logic over here, base 2 to the exponent 0 equals to 1. So the answer is 1. Hope you got an idea and the logistics of the law of exponents. Hope you had fun also. Thank you for watching this from GTEC Techno Solution Private Limited. Thanks again.